Hey guys, how's it going? Exotic SFL here, and I'm coming to you guys from my dorm area, not my dorm building, at USF. Uh, I'm now in college. Uh, I'll make a completely different video about that. But for now, I'm headed to, yes, two car shows in one day. One day. Um, I'm really excited. The first one is at 7, and it is 6.55 a.m., and it's pitch black outside. Probably the only person up on this campus because... Every college student primarily, especially on a Saturday morning, is probably not awake going to a car show. Um, and then the next one's at 11 a.m., which is the USF Car Group Show, which probably isn't gonna have too many cars. The first one's gonna have a lot more exotics. And I'm really excited to show you guys the car shows and the cars actually at the shows, because the last one, uh, Motorsports by Reeves is the name. They had two Mercia Lagos there. One was a, a manual and one was just spec to perfection. It had like a forged carbon steering wheel and everything. It was amazing. So I'll see you guys at the car show. Okay, so I'm here and there's quite a few people here. There's a lot of people actually here, more than I thought. I car show starts at seven, but everyone gets here at seven. Uh, the last car shows I've gone to, it, they start at nine. And when you get there at nine, there's nobody there. So very different kind of car show. Uh, my car's parked over there. Um, it's actually really hard to find a spot. So I'm glad I got a spot because it's really hard and you'd have to like park by BMW. There's a BMW dealership right near here. That's quite hard. I'm not really gonna film too much at the moment because it's really dark outside and this camera on my iPhone XS cannot pick up the cars, but I did see a Heritage Ford GT. I saw the older Ford GT. I'm looking at an R8, Corvette, another R8, GT3 RSs, a bunch of them, 458, a lot, more, a lot of R8s too. And I'll show you guys uh, a little bit better detail when the sun comes up. Um, the time is now eight o'clock, an hour later. This is Andrew. What's up guys? Uh, so Andrew over here, he's the guy who started the USF car meet, which is the next meet I'm going to go to after this one. Um, I just wanted to show you guys some of the really amazing cars. Like look at this M3 with this amazing camo wrap on it. And uh, M5 C43 it looks like or 63. Yep, C43. C63 behind that. And over here, there's the most beautiful blue GT3 RS I think I've ever seen in my entire life. This would be the next color for my next car. Whatever that may be, that's also a very nice blue 720S. Over there, we have a Nardo Gray Performante. Got a Charger M235i Corvette. Over here we have an R8 V10 Spider. That is very, very nice spec on that car. Over here looks like an RS3 Porsche F Pace SVR. The new X6. God, that, that grill looks interesting. Um, M4, and over here we have a an M8, which is really cool. Never seen one of these, first time. Um, definitely needs some black. It's like a Ferrari kind of color scheme with the red and tan. Looks really nice. Interior is really pretty. And the back looks really nice. Like, look at those exhaust tips. Those are really nice. Over here is probably where the nicest of the nicest cars are. Over there we have a very interesting green M2 Competition. Over here we have a Nardo Gray, or I think it's called Grigio Telesto, Performante. Got some cars leaving, we'll probably see some of those leave. Uh, but I'm gonna draw your attention to these three cars over here. Over here we have a, an orange NSX fitting the theme of Halloween, which was a day or two ago. Um, a Heritage 4 GT, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of people surrounding it. It's kind of hard to film. And then over behind that, we have uh, an older 4 GT, which is the same spec as Doug DeMiro's car. And they happen to have the engine bay open. Get to take a look inside of there. That is stunning. Wow.
so now I'm back in my dorm building. I'm in our lobby, this is like the kitchen area. I'm just making some breakfast because I didn't have time to make breakfast for the other car meet because I had to wake up at 6 a.m. and I just didn't feel like making breakfast at that time. So I'm just making an egg right now. Okay, so now I'm on my way to the next car meet and I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, just met this other car meet now. And uh, we just saw a Supra go by, new Supra with blue wheels and it might just be turning it in. Oh! Hey guys, I just wanted to pause the video real quick and I just wanted to apologize for my lack of filming at the second car show. I know the video is titled two car shows in one day. And yes, I did go to two car shows in one day. Unfortunately, I was talking to so many people. I just kind of lost track and didn't film anything. So I'm really sorry about that. Uh, all I got was the Supra. To be honest, the cars were not, in my opinion, worth filming. They weren't anything exotic or anything. But if you guys uh, maybe want to see that next time, I'll definitely film it for you guys. And uh, yeah, back to the video. All right, well, I just got finished with an amazing workout. I did just shoulders and abs today and some cardio. Um, I'm on my way back to my room. I'm gonna have a really late lunch. It's like four or something like that, but whatever. And then I'm gonna go to the mall. I am getting a new cologne, which I'll show you guys later. So I'm at the mall right now. Uh, didn't really do much really to be honest, I just got ready. Um, and there is the Louis Vuitton store, which is where I am headed to pick up a new fragrance. And uh, I haven't told you guys too much about it, but the fragrance is itself is called Afternoon Swim. It is an amazing fragrance. It smells delicious. It's very juicy smelling. And it, the name literally is Afternoon Swim. And I'll tell you guys more about it. I can't film in Louis Vuitton, I just know it for a fact um, because they're like really strict about all that stuff. But I'll show you guys after, I'll tell you about the whole experience when I'm done. So I'll see you when I get out. All right, I got the fragrance here. Uh, I'll show you guys the fragrance itself. The bottle is so beautiful and they engraved my initials S and M on there. Um, and he like made it look gold. It was, it's so cool, I gotta show it to you guys. As soon as I can take it out of the box when I get back to my dorm, all right, you guys, so this is the Louis Vuitton bag. I'm just gonna unbox it real quick. Louis Vuitton, their packaging is always so nice. Um, this is the bag it comes in, it's really nice. It's a beautiful color. This right here is just the receipt and there's like a business card. So there's that. And then this, look how cool this looks with the wrapped wrappings on it and everything. So I'm just gonna unbox that. And I'll show you guys the fragrance. Another unboxing within a box. So this right here is the fragrance itself. The box, at least. It's a really cool looking box. It's got a wave on it, it's blue. And it says Eau de Parfum, 100 ml, 3.4 ounces. So, and it's got the Louis Vuitton logo on the top. So I'm gonna unbox it now. Unfortunately, it's not shrink wrapped. The guy had to unbox it in the store because he had to engrave the my initials on the bottle. So you just open it up like that and then it comes in another box. This one is shaped like a cylinder and it says afternoon swim Louis Vuitton and we'll open it up and see. Look at that. There's the bottle right there. How cool is that? It's a really cool blue. And it says Afternoon Tomb Louis Vuitton and SM, which is my initials, which are my initials. And it's in a very nice gold. And I have to take a smell. Oh my God, it smells so good. I've been waiting to get this fragrance for a long time actually. And I'm so happy now that I actually got it. Welcome to the outro of this video. As always, I forgot to do an outro. So here it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below if you guys want to see other different types of content in the near distant future because I don't want it to be the same thing over and over again. But if you want, I can still keep posting. Uh, I'd love to share more of what happens here in college 
it's a whole different uh, environment for me than back at home. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your night, day or afternoon, whatever time you're watching this video. See you guys later.